In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good people, today it is day six in our 12 days novena uh, for inner healing. So already we are half the journey. Can you see how, how good life is? So we have six more days to go, and we thank God for the journey we have already taken. And please continue with this journey. We did say that this is the only journey you cannot do for somebody else. The best you can do is to request them to take the journey themselves. Now today, I'll give you a few of the blocks, what or a few of the obstacles. Inner healing can be blocked. The reason why some people have taken longer than others, it is because of the obstacles that came to their system. And you may want to ask, my mom is a church elder. As I give you the example, I think on Friday or Saturday. My mom is a church elder. How comes that uh, being a church woman, she has never healed? Maybe because you have never understood. She is dealing with a certain obstacle. And you don't need all of them. You only need one to make you completely remain, remain blocked and stuck. Obstacle number one to inner healing is unforgiveness. Remember, there is being unable to forgive and there is refusal to forgive. These are different things. Consciously, you say, I will never forgive Father C.K. I will never. On the other hand, it is where the pain is so excruciating to the extent that you try to forgive Father C.K., but it is not going. Not that you are not willing. You have been trying. Maybe you have gone even for therapies, or maybe, or maybe you, you wanted to do it on yourself, but you can't. But there is refusal. Refusal becomes an obstacle. Obstacle number two is disappointments, failures, and dead dreams. When dreams die, then we have problems. Disappointment is another obstacle. The other obstacle, and this is the greatest and maybe the one that has kept especially your moms into addressing their wounds, that is guilt and shame. That is the worst. In fact, majority of the Christians today who are stuck with septic wounds, it is because of guilt and shame. Sometimes we even think that God is ashamed of what we did. Sometimes we think that God is ashamed of what we went through. And because of that, we console ourselves. Let's just be there. Then there is something else that I, I like talking about. Demonic interference. Demonic interference. Remember to pray the binding prayers and ask the Holy Spirit for discernment because demonic interference is real and it can be an obstacle as to why you cannot go for inner healing or you, can, or you cannot even access inner healing because there is that voice that tells you that you are meant to live like that. That right from the beginning, you were predestined to live in misery, hopelessness, and dejection. Inner judgment is another obstacle. Inner judgment. Negative words that you keep telling yourself, I am stupid. I'll never get through in life. I will never win. I will never get married. I cannot make it. Business is not my portion. This is not my line. That is called inner judgment and is bad. 
Then, lastly, too little emotion. Too little emotion. We can call it apathy. Apathy. Now, apathetic people do not know how they should feel in a given situation. They have denied their emotions. They have denied their emotions. They are in denial. They become apathetic. In apathy, dear people, it is bad. And on apathy, I speak from a personal experience. I have lost three persons very, very close to me from my family. I lost my small brother who actually died on my hands. I held him for two minutes. Then he died because he had been hit by a vehicle, cracked his skull. I held him. Two minutes, two or three, he died. And I released him with the blood all over my hands. And I can tell you, that is one experience. The other experience was my mom, 2019, January 6th, in the evening, evening at 5 p.m. My mom rested. Mom was and is even today my best friend. And now, 3rd of August this year, my dad rested, leaving me very angry and so devastated. Let me tell you, apathy gets to a point where there is nothing else that can inflict you pain. People tell you that they, are, they have lost their loved ones. You don't even understand why people should die. You don't even understand why you should even attend their, their barriers or their ceremonies. In fact, you feel bad when people are telling you about their death. Now, this is something I have gone through myself. Until I said, enough is enough. I know, especially when my mom rested, uh, my inner system almost collapsed completely. And by then I had a very demanding apostolate, extremely demanding. And here is a, a completely shattered priest. And apathy is real. And I remember one day I left the, the country to go to another country. And I was supposed to go and anoint somebody in the hospital which I didn't, because I can tell you, since my mom died, I spent almost eight months never being able to go to any hospital to anoint anybody. You call me, I get you a priest. I give you an excuse, I get you a priest. And later I talked about it because many people don't think or don't even believe that priests have feelings or maybe they should get sad. But I tell you, apathy is real. Maybe the pain that you have, you have, all, you have said, it never happened to me. So you even become almost numb. You, do, you don't understand why people are crying. I, what is happening? And that blocks the inner healing. And the funny thing about apathy is that you can justify. Now I tell you the truth. Apathy you can justify. And apathy has kept so many people completely grounded. This is where you wake up and make a decision. I am a living example. I have woken up three times. Three times. Myself. I have woken up three times. You can wake up. Refuse to live this apathetic life. It is so painful. You feel hollow, you feel empty, you feel miserable, you feel desperate, you feel lonely, you feel lost, completely so. So, my dear friend, which of the obstacles are you going through? Can you do something? Yes, you can. That is why we are in this novena. We are doing it together. And as I said, this is not a novena that somebody can do for you. This, you must do it yourself. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Monday. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'll take you through, uh, we'll still be on this healing journey, and I'll be dealing with inner freedom, inner freedom, and the, the obstacles that can, we, that can stop us from being free, being free. Remember there is being free to go, being free to go to the healing point. That is what we shall do tomorrow, and then we continue with the, the rest of the, of the reflection. As I told you, every day of this novena, I am going to deal with inner healing until we are just okay.